the story that I just heard is a terrible story and um, it uh, upsets me that um, students can be manipulated um, by an honest attempt to improve professor, for example, come on time, come prepared. Um, uh, these are critical things. I think the way I would react to that is to uh, compare that to the, the way that um, we are, we try to get feedback from our students in, um, for example, in my classes, uh, we, I will ask for feedback uh, regularly during the quarter, um, I will ask what's going well for you, uh, what isn't working for you, uh, and what you can do as a student to make things better, and what I can do as a professor to make things better. So those are the four questions I ask. And I uh, request that the, the students don't put their names on it, because I want them to be honest. And then I read what they have to say and I respond to them. Sometimes I have to say, you know, I can't change that. That's a school policy or uh, this is good teaching. Um, but if it's something that I can do, I will uh, attempt to do that. And I also encourage the students to do the things that will make the class better for them. Uh, I think it's really important for faculty to get student feedback. Uh, we can think we're doing a great job, uh, but if we're not meeting our students' needs, then we uh, need to change some things. But I, I don't agree at all with punishing a student for a, a negative criticism. Sometimes I think the comments maybe are immature or they are sometimes just plain mean, but I can usually recognize that that's know that that's the case and it's not something that uh, I've done. They just, for some reason, don't like the class or don't like me. But I wouldn't agree with ever punishing a student for being honest about how they feel about the class. At, at our college, we have a very clear stated uh, procedure. Uh, but I, one of the things I would say always to a student is, is uh, document what's happening. So if you feel that you've been uh, unfairly uh, punished for giving feedback, that you um, put it in writing. Write your professor an email and say, here's what I feel has happened. Maybe uh, send a copy to the dean or to the, uh, someone in administration, but be sure that you document it uh, so that it's not your word against the professor's word because then you get into the, the power issues. Uh, but certainly in North American schools, they have a procedure to protect students from that kind of uh, uh, unfair treatment. Uh, one student said my yellow sweater that I wore made them feel nauseated. Um, I had to laugh, but it shows you that if you don't if you don't learn how to give constructive feedback, um, then the feedback is kind of useless. I mean, my yellow sweater, um, well, obviously it did affect this student's learning, but, and so, you know, in a way it was useful, but in a way it was uh, too small and too unimportant to, to be very helpful. I have an example like that in a doctoral course. So this is a course um, for PhD students and for master's students and one comment in the feedback was, and this is the only time I've ever gotten it, was that I didn't motivate this student. And my thought was, if you're a PhD student, I don't think I really have to motivate you. You should be motivated enough yourself. And so that was one of those uh, cases where the feedback was not particularly constructive and not very helpful.